single page website on Squarespace. Tutorial for beginners. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use Squarespace to create our single page website. So they provide us the opportunity to create it from scratch or we can easily use their template. So in order to get started we need to visit their website squarespace.com and right up here just click on get started in the right top corner or in the left side here. So I just click on uh, them and as you can see now we can simply find the different types of templates We can choose the type to filter them. So in this case, I'm going to choose the one page website And as you can see what can we find here? Uh, these like templates provide us the opportunity to create it with only like these or we can find a lot of stuff right up here So we can simply even choose the topic of our website in this case I'm going to use popular design But if you are going to create about food about events, you can just simply choose it from this list right up here So let's try to find something which is suitable as for us. I think this one looks pretty cool or this one either so I think I'm going to use this one is about like yoga or something like this so we can simply click on preview and we'll find how this looks like as for like the viewer on the desktop tablet or maybe phone so this is it so let's click on start with this design to come to our page where firstly we need to create an account we can continue with gmail google or email so i'm going to use gmail here i just like to uh, choose one of my accounts so in a few seconds we'll come to our managing page firstly we need to choose the site title let it be like a helper Mon, not to be like this. Continue. Next, next, to get started. And here we are on our manage page. What can we find here? In the left side, there is a huge menu with pages, design, commerce, marketing, scheduling, asset library, analytics, profile, settings, and help. As for the beginners, I think the most useful is design right up here. So we can simply customize the site styles. We can go to site styles right up here called to fonts and if we want to change the wall font grouping we can click on font pack switch and here we are we can switch between different buttons and uh, view how does it looks like as for us we can find something interesting to use it like as for us i think this pack of fonts is pretty cool so let's use this one i'll just go back and Moreover, we can change different headings, paragraphs, and so on. But as for me, it's enough. We can also change the colors here. We can change the palette. We can click on, click on edit palette, for example. We can change the ball style with palettes. I think it's pretty cool because they provide us the opportunity to, to customize every uh, like single block on the website, not like in uh, divided parts but it at all i think it's pretty cool so we can go back to colors side styles and close this window so now our website looks like this i'm going to click on done and save basically this is our edit page but i need to tell you something more about managing page here well it's anything as you can see every single part is about uh it's like in uh, sections here so this is our header and this is our main section we can easily one more section but um, it won't be like single page website anymore after that but we can easily do it so we can add section for example about intro contact information about people products services there are a lot of stuff we can use from templates i think for for example we can add like a people if we need to add maybe if we are doing like yoga classes we can add our coaches or something like this so we can go, uh, go back to home page and what is really interesting even um for beginners is analytics page so here we can find the information about our sales maybe about our traffic here about the geography so sometimes it could be a really really helpful so let's go to edit page in order to come to edit page here we need to click on edit here in the left top corner of this preview and um, yes of course we can add some sections here but let's click on close uh, what is interesting is that we can customize every single part here so for example we can customize this wall section with main information we can just simply click on edit section and as you can see what can we change we can change the grid column grid helps us to 
place our blocks for example this text here we can change the gap in these like cells we can uh, fill the screen we can change the height we can uh, change the alignment and so on also there is the opportunity to change the background as for us it could be helpful for example if you want to change this image here we can replace it or we can add it so let's try to find something from stock images for example i'd like to use this one uh, maybe our website is about some like i don't know design or something like this it looks pretty cool so it may take a little time until it will be uploaded and after that our site looks like this so uh, this is a way of how can we deal we can add some videos we can add even some arts here so it may take like this here so let it be like this for example and uh, now we need to customize our text we need to change the color maybe so let's click on our text click on edit and here we can find a lot of stuff we can make it bold we can change the color let it be the color here so i'm going to uh, mark it and then just change the color we can change something like this we can customize it so let's try to make it maybe maybe red even or orange let it be the orange for example i'd like also to add some image so i'll just click on add block in the left top corner here click on image and this is our image here so i'm going to resize it as for us click on plus to upload it and like to use the stock images so let's try to find something which is suitable as for our team let's be like this for example so we'll edit it may also take a little time so as you can see it doesn't fill all the gaps so we can resize it a little bit so now it looks like this and let's move it right up here so everything is like intuitively easy to understand we can customize the position customize all the elements here we can duplicate if we need so it's pretty easy uh, to understand and um, when everything is done we can just simply click on done and then just click on save and our website will be saved and updated now it looks like this as you can see so yeah pretty pretty cool and of course, this Squarespace provides us the opportunity to buy the paid plan. So now we are on 14 day trial while you're creating, you'll have this trial. And after that, you can decide, is it like good for you to use Squarespace? So we can use personal plan, business, or if you're going to like have the online store, we can use the 27 plan of commerce or $49 plan about advanced commerce plan. So the most popular is of course business, $23 per month. I think it's not that high price. So if you're going to launch your like single page website, sometimes it could be really suitable as for you to use the Squarespace. So this is a way of how can we deal with Squarespace. Hope this video helped you out. If it is, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.